So what gave you the courage to even go against them and do that? Or to tell them before you even started. I was too scared to tell my parents. Like I just did it and I was like, if I make 10K a month, then they'll like, they can't say anything. So I did it silently while going to school and wasting a ton of money yeah. in college. Honestly, man, it wasn't courage at all. Like the reason my mom cried, this is like the real explanation of the story. Age 15 to age 17, I had given up on life. Like after I dropped out of school, like I, every day I woke up, I just hated life. And that is the most ignorant thing I will ever say. I admit it. It's the dumbest thing I could ever say. But I hated waking up. Did you have a reason? Like a core like thought? I had, so I had, I was diagnosed with anxiety, depression, and OCD. Mm. The big three, as I call it. And it crippled me. Like I, I couldn't walk into a grocery store. My anxiety was so bad. Of like somebody might judge me. or so, I couldn't talk to people. So just for like reference, like that is that that's the shift you can make as a human being go from not being able to talk to people to being able to lead a team of 17 people and hundreds of clients like that is what i'm fascinated with more than anything else is what is the transformation you can make as a person on this planet what is, what are you capable of achieving by transforming your mind because that is the greatest superpower we have so like i was in a completely dark place i i had been going to therapy for years i wasn't making progress my life was pitiful and I had probably the lowest self-esteem of anybody you would ever meet, ever. And my mom knew that. And she had watched me go through all of this. And she was just so worried. And she didn't know what to do. Nobody did. They gave me fucking pills. They gave me all this bullshit. Nobody knew what to, no, knew what to do. And entrepreneurship was like the one thing that gave me hope. That maybe I can actually go and make money. And all this proving wrong that I think I can do, I can leverage it in a way that makes me financially free. And so when I discovered entrepreneurship, it was like, it was the only thing that gave me hope that maybe I can actually overcome all of this and become free. And it's the best thing I ever did and fucking saved my life. And I'm extraordinarily grateful. I love to psychoanalyze. And so have you been able to like, now that where you're at now with perspective, your brain's more developed and like awareness, have you been able to like look back and try to understand what was tricky? Because anxiety is like, in my opinion, maybe this is completely wrong and you stand up for yourself if this is the case. But in my opinion, anxiety ocd or depression maybe not ocd but depression is like triggered because of your circumstance that you're in and you are like out of control and you can't you feel like you can't control that situation and you're just in a bad loop so do you think that the fact that you were being put into a system that wasn't designed for your personality type was like the reason that you were feeling anxiety and depression or do you think that you actually there's like a brain chemical mismatch Great question. genuinely because i think one last thing yeah because doctors will just prescribe in America just prescribe you an extremely dangerous drug to change your brain chemistry to they, fix it and they did instead that. of trying to change your environment first and they did that which is it's fuck. like everybody wants to give give the solution to the problem but nobody everyone wants to give like the the band-aid to the problem but nobody wants to figure out like how do you actually heal the wound or identify what the problem actually it, like how did different. how did it come about and like they gave me like lorazepam or some bullshit and they were like oh you won't feel depressed anymore they were right I felt like a fucking zombie though. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel anything. I just was like walking around like I don't feel anything for six months. So looking, I've thought about this so much. Like why was my anxiety so bad? Why was I so depressed? And I think a lot of it is yes, being in an environment that I just didn't fit into. I think a lot of it is rooted in the programming that happens from age zero to age seven. My parents got divorced when I was six and I think subconsciously I maybe somehow blamed myself and I've always had like some core like lower self-esteem because of that because I felt like I was the reason my parents got divorced but consciously I don't think like that at all like, yeah I'm glad they got divorced it's way better that way so I don't know exactly what it was um but I know one thing for sure is I was anxious and depressed and sad because I was trying to be somebody that I wasn't because I was trying to fit into a box that I couldn't I was like a fly trapped in a jar going like banging its head from side to side trying to figure out how do I get out of this? I just went crazy. And then entrepreneurship for me was realizing that the lid was off the jar the entire time and I could just fly right up. And like for me, I just, yeah, I just, I was trying to fit into a box that I didn't fit into that caused me to be somebody I wasn't. So of course I was anxious. I was faking. I wasn't who I actually was. Of course I was depressed. And the Bible says anxiety causes depression within a man. 
So the anxiety created the depression and the anxiety was created because I was trying to be somebody that I wasn't. And it's because I overvalued myself and I thought things were more important than they actually were. Like my biggest thing to share is you are going to die. None of this actually fucking matters. Don't take yourself so seriously. Mm -hmm. And if I could have done that back then, I would have been able to be free. Like Mm -hmm. who cares if somebody says, dude, your podcast sucked, your information, you I don't like you. Who cares if somebody says, oh, you're a terrible business. Like, who cares? You're going to die. None of this is, this is all made up, bro. All the cameras, everything. It's just made, it's a game. It's a game that we get to play. But I was taking myself way too seriously. And uh, it fucked me up. Yeah, I think you have to live by a moral ethical code at that Agreed. point. And then you can rest easy at night from there. And it's kind of just what you're referencing is the Albert Einstein quote. Like, if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it's going to live its whole life thinking it's stupid or that's whatever. Like, talk about yeah. quotes, man. Yeah. I love that. I got some myself. I love that. It's but good. that's just like the system that most people are put on. And on top of that, it's like pre-puberty, puberty. You're all going through this different transformation. You're in a small, like, social status sig- circle. And if you're not thriving in that social status circle, that's how humans, like, judge their performance in life. Yeah. They're, you're obviously going to have a horrible time. I was very sad in middle school and high school. Yeah. For that exact reason. But you seem to be going through a lot different, like a, like a lot harsher. So once you got out of that system and then you told your mom, you finally made that say, like statement, I'm not going to college, I'm going to do this. Did you feel like, was that when the lid was opened and you found the way to go through? Did that like open the door to the like first, feeling free? That was the first time in years that I had hope. Like that was the first time in years I woke up with like, hey, maybe I, because my plan was like, after I turn 18, everybody's going to go to college. I won't be able to live at home anymore. And like, that's when I'll have to take my own life. And like, that was my plan for three years is like, this is over. This is miserable. And like, I I can't even begin to try to comprehend how I used to think that was the option for me. Like that was the best solution of my life was to end it. So when I saw entrepreneurship, yeah, it gave me hope for the first time. And now I'm wake up every day and I'm just like, and Nick can attest to us, attest to this because we're both the same way. Like, I'm just fucking grateful every breath I get to take. I walk outside, I see the sun. I'm like, how fucking lucky am I just to be here? And um, entrepreneurship, 100, percent was the the reason for that. Yeah. 